Hi, welcome to Yoga and You. I'm Divya Rola. Today our focus will be on a posture that almost all of us are familiar with, Virabhadrasana. You have three Virabhadrasanas, one, two, and three. We are going to focus on Virabhadrasana one today. All of us have done the posture, but doing the posture with proper alignment is what gives you the entire benefit of the posture. Virabhadrasana is really going to help tone your lower body, tone your back muscles, and Virabhadrasana one in particular really helps in elevating any spinal issues because you'll see that there's a real twist in the asana. We're going to start with our right side and we're going to use the wall as support to make sure our alignment is proper. Now make sure that the right foot, the toes of the right foot are just about touching the wall and make sure the left foot is behind about four to four and a half feet and turn the left foot inside so that the left foot is not straight. Check if the heel of the front foot is in direct alignment with the center of the arch of the back foot. If both are in one line, you can be rest assured that you are in alignment. Now from here, as you exhale, start twisting your hips towards the wall. Keep twisting till you almost feel both your hip bones coming into one line. Now place your fingertips on the wall without bending your elbows and really lock the knee at the back, don't let the knee at the back bend. As you exhale, without bending your elbows, you're going to start bending the right knee. This is going to make sure that your back is straight and you're not leaning forward. So you're really going to straighten your back. Keep your fingertips on the wall, keep straightening the back knee and make sure that the front knee, the knee and the ankle come into one line. Hold here, think of taking 10 deep breaths and as you come out of the posture, slowly straighten the right knee, release the arms, turn and join. So Veerabhadrasana can be a very very challenging posture if you get your alignment right because there is no point in doing the posture with a bad alignment. You can hurt your back and you can really hurt your knees, injure your knees if you do this posture with bad alignment. So take your time, settle into the posture, do it right, do it both on the right and the left side. Hold each side for at least 10 deep breaths for, which is about 30 to 40 seconds and then switch to the other side. If you are a beginner, try doing this asana 3-4 times before you really get a hang of it. Thank you very much.